When I came back from Iraq, I was a leadership instructor. And one week of training is called Hell Week. Students stay awake for five or six days nonstop, and you're pushed to the limits of your physical and mental capacity. The students are divided into teams called boat crews, and every event is a race. One boat crew that we were watching was winning every race. Another boat crew was losing every race. One of our senior instructors said, let's swap out the leaders. Lo and behold, the boat crew that had been losing every race, they started to win. Spent 13 years in the Navy, nine of those as a Navy SEAL. Worked very closely with Jocko Willing. All I ever wanted to do with my life was be a commando. I realized I need to capture the lessons we learned about combat and pass them on. What we see when we work with leaders is we see them become aware of the power of leadership. They become aware of what their strengths are and what they're doing well. They also become aware of what their weaknesses are and where they're failing. There's only two measures that matter, and that's effective and ineffective. As a leader, you have got to maintain the standards, standards that just cannot be compromised. And when I talk about leadership, I'm not just talking about me. I'm not just talking about the platoon commanders that work for me. I'm talking about leadership at every level. Honest self-critique, sometimes brutally honest, always looking in the mirror saying, how can we do things better? How can we improve? No one is above that. And what they do with the principles that we give them is use them as tools to become better leaders. You own the solution to your problems. We give them the framework to make the right decisions to lead their teams and win.